Investigators are running from store to store right now. They are trying to find viewing glasses for next week's eclipse, but they're getting harder and harder to find every day. So consumer reporter John Matarese is here with some other options, plus whether it is safe to record the eclipse on your smartphone. I didn't even yeah. think about that. I Johnny. know and people are wondering about that, Tanya. You know, we can't warn about this one enough. Sunglasses, even very dark sunglasses are not enough protection for your eyes during next week's solar eclipse. You need eclipse glasses, but if you can't find any, we're on your side with some other ways to view it. The Cincinnati Observatory is buzzing this week with tri-staters like Ann and Joel Bayou stopping by to get those cool eclipse glasses. And we got two pair and then my sister wanted some and my daughter wanted some. And that's the bad news. Stores everywhere are running out of the official NASA glasses. Here inside the observatory, director Dean Regis is gearing up for the big day, August 21st. But even he is running low on glasses, so he suggests alternative ways of watching, such as... Uh, but yeah, you take a box like this, put a hole in it. Uh... Regis says anyone can make a safe pinhole projector with a cardboard box. Let the light come through the hole onto the ground and watch the image on the ground. It should make a picture of the eclipse. Now, a lot of people are going to want to record the eclipse with their smartphone, perhaps to post it on Facebook. But experts say pointing your phone at the sun for several minutes might not be the best idea. So if you have your uh, camera phone pointed at the sun for long periods of time, it could damage the electronics inside of it. NASA says it's OK to snap a quick photo or two of the eclipse. But if you're shooting it for more than a few seconds, put a darkening filter or eclipse glasses over your phone's camera to prevent any possible sun burn in. Take the picture through the filter. That will help out a lot. When it comes to a $500 phone, Dean says better safe than sorry. Again, can't warn enough, sunglasses are not enough protection for your eyes during the eclipse. Well, besides the eclipse, everyone is talking about the weekend violence in Charlottesville, Virginia. Many people would like to help some of the victims. Well, Money Magazine today said check out any fundraising appeal carefully. Both sides in this debate are on GoFundMe asking for money. GoFundMe is more than a dozen pages set up to aid victims if you'd like to contribute to a victim directly. Finally, some good news about Tri-State gas prices in today's edition of Cheap Gas Monday. Despite a slow rise in prices this past month, every time stations raise their price up to 245, what happens? Well, it falls down just a few days later, and that's what we are finding again tonight. Bob Apke reports 219 at the UDF on Vine Street in Elmwood Place in Kentucky. Kermit Balmer found 231 at Murphy USA in Florence, and our good friend in Indiana, Terry Hankenbird, says the fuel mart in Aurora is down to 228. On WCPO.com, read my report on where to find eclipse glasses and how to know those glasses you find are legitimate so you stay safe and you don't waste your money.